Did you know that crossing the highways not only slows vehicular movement but increases your chance of being knocked down by a vehicle? A recent study by Forbes Africa says one of the causes of traffic in Lagos State is crossing the highways by pedestrians. The Lagos State government knows this and has taken some measures to instill in the people the discipline needed to save their own lives by constructing pedestrian bridges in strategic areas. This highway used to be a death trap as a result of pedestrians crossing. But the narrative has changed after the Lagos State government constructed this edifice. From Lagos mainland to the island and across the five divisions of the state, this masterpiece is replicated for safety purposes. To ensure food bridges are accessible to everyone, including the physically challenged, careful consideration are given to provision of access ramps, decks and non-skid surfaces. The pedestrian bridges also have safety design features, including a textured deck surface that will stand up every pedestrian foot traffic. Each spans to the end of the long road just to prevent pedestrians from making a dash across the ever busy road. With all the provisions, why do some pedestrians jeopardize their safety? I'm one of them that don't like using the pedestrian bridge because it's too stressful. Some of them are too high. The people that build the staircase, that walk on the staircase, the staircase are too high. So after climbing the staircase, one gets tired easily. So that's why me, personally, I don't like using it. They are in the haste. They are not supposed to be in the haste because if you die, now you are hasting, you are hasting, you are not going anywhere. You, are, you end up dying and now you are hasting will not take you to anywhere. See that car there, all of them, they are exiting 80. So, um, why people don't use the pedestrian bridge? Mainly because of fear of heights. Like me now, right from small, I've been scared of heights. But the thing is that you have to face your fear. Even though no matter how the fear is, if you're regarding your life, you have to be your life first. I would say they are rebellious. They don't obey the government. The bridge uh, have saved a lot of life. Apart from endangering their lives, it is a punishable offence for residents who refuse to use the pedestrian bridges. Although the Lagos State Government has put in place some measures to ensure safety of all road users, including pedestrians, installing barriers to discourage defaulters as well as deployment of environmental officers popularly known as Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps, LAGESC, to enforce usage. Over 50 offenders are arrested daily for not using the pedestrian bridges. Apart from that, we discovered that instead of using it for the purpose that the bridges were erected for, they were using it to, uh, as market. Okada riding on the bridges in Lagos, all these new ones constructed by the Lagos State Club. All these towers, you see them, some of them have converted the bridges to their house. We have started advocacy, radio jingles. If you go to Lagos, if you go to where these uh, pedestrian bridges are, this is where they are located. You see these signposts. We've erected it everywhere where there is a pedestrian bridges in Lagos. 
In 2018, through a resolution, the state's House of Assembly resolved that it is a punishable offense for any residents of Lagos State who refuse to use pedestrian bridges. The motion was moved by Rotimi Olowo, the lawmaker representing Shomolu Constituency 2. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's punishable under the environmental law. When we arrest them like that, we charge them to court, they pay fine. At times they, 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 they give them a community service. So that is what we have been doing to correct the defaulters. Majority community service. But when we pick you once, when, when we pick you twice, the second time will not leave you to go. We give you fine. They will ask to take you to court and court with Please give them fine. Despite the huge amounts committed by the government to provide this infrastructure in the state, a lot of people still defy the use of the pedestrian bridges. Obviously and willingly, few pedestrians ditch the pedestrian bridge to reduce time. Many deaths have been avoided on the highways in the state due to the use of pedestrian bridges. Stop! Think before you end up arming yourself and your loved ones. Use that pedestrian bridge close to you.